again. And we will move along here in San Antonio with the fight between Derek Rolon, who hopes to roll on against Moses Robinson. Six rounds, it's a welterweight contest, and let's go to Bill Merriman as soon as we get his attention. Oh, Bill. Ladies and gentlemen, we now bring you a pair of welterweight for six rounds. Instructions in the dressing rooms, okay? O obey my commands, okay? Good luck to both of you. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves and come out boxing. And you take a look at Moses Robinson. And in the other corner, it is Derek Roland. Roland undefeated in 10 fights. He's got seven knockouts. Moses, six up, four down, one tie. Derek Roland is the kind of guy you may see him righty, you may see him lefty. He comes out righty, ooh, and takes a good shot by Moses Robinson. And he was hurt. I'm telling you, Derek Roland was nailed and hurt in this first round, and right away he goes back to lefty. I think probably Roland's more comfortable with lefty during this. And Moses looks like one of those guys going to go out there, he's going to knock you out, or he's going to get himself knocked out. One of the two. And, and you, you often feel that Derek Roland is the same, though Roland is 10 and 0. Derek is a fine offensive boxer, but defensively has some liabilities. And boy, Moses Robinson is uh, exploiting them early. This round scheduled for six rounds. Nothing has gone the distance yet tonight, so and somehow I have a feeling this one will be That's the way these guys are wailing away against each other. Step back. Step back. Barnes uh, and his fighters have had a perfect evening so far. Harold Rhodes won and then a fight that you can see on television. I don't oh, think that wow. I don't think that was a punch. A slip, and it's called that way by Leonard Zuniga. One of the best referees uh, in San Antonio. He's done a good job tonight. He has, he has. I'm really kidding because he was talking to us earlier today about how guys who work in towns like San Antonio don't get enough exposure. So oh, it, that is true. Lots of times they don't, and sometimes we go into towns and the referees there don't deserve exposure, but he's done a good job tonight. Roland now starting to get to Moses Robinson a little bit more with that right hook and working the body well. Roland's a good body puncher. I mentioned another Charlie Barnes uh, fighter earlier in the evening had uh, had also won. Ricky Myers won in his battle. So Charlie's put together a nice stable boxing. Roland having a little better success left-handed. Yeah, he's, he's more comfortable that way. Good body shots and uppercuts. He's very good at that. And that backed Moses Robinson up. That's where Derek Roland likes to be on the inside. When he's on the inside, he's a real force. Another uppercut inside hurt Robinson. He bounces off the ropes. And a right hand, and he chases him to the left. And down goes Robinson. And that one, I think, is a knockdown, whether or not. I think that 
that one actually was a knockdown. It's not called that way, though. I thought it was. I thought he was hurt. Makes it a 10 9 round instead of a 10 8 round. What you gotta do, what you gotta do is box a little bit. You gotta take off one shot. You got a couple shots to take him out with. All right? Let's settle down. Let's take another look at that and see, was it or was it? Well, Derek Roland certainly had Moses Robinson in some trouble. I, there he lands a good straight left hand. Hurt. And, uh, well, I don't know. You know what? Now that I look at that again, I'm not sure it was a knockdown. I agree with you. I really thought it was at the time, but I didn't see a punch that really put him through the ropes. There was a good right hand. He hit him with some good shots before he actually put him through the ropes, but right at that moment, he didn't. In any case, officially, no knockdowns in that round. And so we start round two. Derek Roland and Moses Robinson. I think that Roland would come out righty again. Despite the really good success he had as a lefty. I think Derek Roland is a better defensive fighter as a lefty than he is as a righty. He gets hit more as a right-hander. There he's back to lefty. See, that's really the way he wants to fight. I would think, too, that thoroughly confuses an inexperienced fighter like Moses Robinson. It's not that Robinson hasn't had any professional fight. He's had 11, but for some reason, he just doesn't look like a guy who's had a lot of training. I'm wanting him to throw combinations, good straight left hand, and he's doing it. He's, he's throwing more combinations than when we first saw him. So you look at to put those punches together. His stock and trade, though, is that body. Boy, he can rip the body. And it's there to be ripped. Robinson early in the first round was landing a lot of straight right hands. Has not been able to get that punch home. And conversely, Roland now is just pretty much able to hit Robinson almost any time he wants. I mentioned that uh, in our audience tonight, we've had uh, Frank Tate, the former IBF middleweight champion, and uh, also our Rand Barkley, who is a middleweight champion, lifting the crown from. And a former Olympian, Todd Foster, who we're going to be seeing, and we get to go to Great Falls, Montana, the nice part of the world. That should be fun in January. Iran Barkley uh, will be facing Roberto Duran in February. Roberto making yet another comeback. Yeah. Robinson is shot. Yeah, right now, Rodan is able to roll on. He's able to do pretty much what he wants with him. Robinson is going to try to stay away long enough to find a soft spot here. but just barely. And he's a tired fighter now. He's got nothing left. He has no possible chance of winning this fight. <laughs> say no possible chance. <laughs> you never know, but not much of a chance at this point. the WBC middleweight champion won that crown from Tommy Hearns in that shocking upset and he'll be taking on Roberto Duran in February. And Iran got there the hard way. He had to go through Michael Wajide and had a war with Robbie Sims here on, on ESPN. And in this one it's not really so much a war as it is a one-sided battle. 
Derek Brolin just punishing Moses Robinson. And that posture is a righty, so he switched back and forth and apparently done so effectively. Round number three, Derek Roland, Moses Robinson, Tyler, Texas. <laughs> Throwing punches, so he must add a little talking to him. Great, great. You hold it. Step back, clean. Step back. Well, I think Derek Roland is not fighting as well defensively as they would like. He's been hit with some shots that I don't think they'd like him to be hit with. But uh, Robinson hasn't been able to be consistent with that. And Derek has, as usual, bullied him and gone to the body and thrown good uppercuts. And so offensively, he's getting the job done. And now he's actually doing better. There was well. a left hand. And that is definitely not good. Again, body work by Derek Roland. trying to finish things as best he can. And if I was roll on, and that's what he's doing, I would get into lefty stance, jab my way in, and then just start banging the body of Moses Robinson, and I'm sure he will go. That's exactly what he's doing. He's exactly in the right mode now to end this fight, roll on. Ripping the body of Robinson. They might stop this fight. You can make a case for it pretty soon. Robinson is leaning against the ropes and not defending himself very well. He's tired and hurt. Right hand sends him backwards. Derek Rowan is not a one-punch knockout artist. He with his seven KOs and ten wins. There goes Robinson. And in this fight, there is a three knockdown rule because this is under the Texas rules. It's over. And that's good stopping by Leonard Zuniga, veteran referee. And Derek Roland has run his record to 11 0. And that is his eighth knockout. Still a learning process for Derek Roland. We've seen a couple of guys. Robert Quiroga, one guy who comes to mind, who's had only eight fights and looks like quite a mature fighter. Derek Roland, like Quiroga, had a lot of amateur experience, was in the uh, Olympic Festival here on ESPN a couple of times. And this is the kind of stuff he learned there and learns from Tommy Parks, his trainer, working the body very well. There's a left to the uh, jaw that was the final death knell, if you will, in this fight, at least for Moses Robinson. And then here's the end of the fight. Just ripping body shots. And it was finally actually the combination to the head that put Robinson down. But Derek Roland, let him get on the inside and, and be a stationary target. You're going to have a tough time dealing with this man. Here's the official announcement from Bill Merriman. Derek 